Hey guys, it's Erica here with Tiny Acorn. I'm back with another video. So this video is a thrift with me in Sparks, Nevada. I'm on a baby moon road trip with my husband and my dog and we've been <laughs> traveling for about two weeks all around the kind of western part of the U.S. And so I've been trying to thrift in every city that I can. Um, make sure to check out the rest of this series. I will link it below for you guys. But today I'm going to head into this thrift store here in Sparks, Nevada. And I'm going to take you guys along with me to see if I can find any treasures. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And make sure to subscribe. insert myself here and share with you our sponsor for today's video and that is Native Deodorant. Alright, so you guys have probably seen some of my past videos where I've talked about Native and that is because it's all I wear. I ended up switching to a natural deodorant years ago because I didn't want to put any deodorant that had aluminum in it on my body. I made the switch and I have not looked back since that day. I've tested Native out in triple digits. It works, it's great, it's very smooth, it has beautiful scents, I just love it. They just released a plastic free container. How awesome is that? That they are trying to get away from using disposable plastic products. I actually ordered the coconut vanilla and the lavender rose and then the charcoal. I was very curious as to what charcoal was going to smell like, but it smells like what it smells like when you just like get right out of the shower and you're really fresh. All of their deodorants are made with natural ingredients. They're aluminum free, paraben free, and sulfate free, which is great. And they're vegan and cruelty free. If you guys are interested in trying native for yourself, you can build a three pack online. Instead of $39, you can them for $29. That's 25% off if you use my code. And that is tiny4. So click the link in the description. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the video. There's a big dress section I'm gonna check out. And there are a lot of <laughs> clothes here. So I'm gonna just be scanning for colors and patterns that I like. Okay, let me show you guys all of the dresses that I found. So this one, Liz Claiborne. I found this flowy guy. This one's super cute. This is not vintage, but um, it's a copycat of another dress that's modern. 
I think it was originally Free People or something. And this is a, just a Target dress, but I like the color. This is a cute little 60s shift dress. Here's a little probably early 80s purple dress. A little button detail on the shoulder and a puff sleeve. Like this kind of minimalist look. I think it would be cute. I think that one would be really cute belted. And then this little white one. It's a modern dress. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try it on because I have a white dress that I like. Okay, I'm in the skirt section now. looking for pleated skirts. Those are really cute. To be honest, I am so tired of shopping for dresses and skirts. <laughs> and I'm like ready to not be pregnant anymore and ready to wear pants again. <sighs> I'm gonna head over to the shirt section. So here's some of the tops that I found. This is kind of cute. I like the quilting of this, but I don't like how long the sleeves are. So I definitely would crop those. Here's a little vintage blouse. It's a leopard blouse. This is a cute Liz Claiborne sweater. It's another cute little short sleeve sweater. This one I really like. It's a bandana print blouse. Very 80s. And then this guy. And then little 80s top and this guy. Okay, so here's a great example of a true vintage piece. This nightgown. And I can tell it's vintage. There's no tag in it. Um, but the material and the detailing here and the buttons Definitely looks like a vintage piece to me. And then come over to this. And this is a very similar style. It's a vintage replica. And you can tell it's new because of the tag here. Um, and also this sort of detailing here. It looks newer to me. So yeah, so it's very interesting, the, the actual vintage piece here, and then a replica. Some little nighties, that's cute. These big old billowy sleeves, so cute.
love these kind of baskets. They're great for plants. Only four dollars. So this is my cart. So I'm only gonna try on a few things. I have to weed out some of these because the fitting rooms are closed. Oh, hi. <laughs> I've always liked these little bobbly sweaters. And this one's a cardigan. It's cute. Yeah. It's not vintage, but oh, it has little hearts. Okay, so here's this little bandana blouse. It's really cute. And I would definitely tuck it in to something. To be more like that. This little 90s blouse, it's not like super my style, but I think it's really cute. Not a fan of these sleeves on this sweater. No. Okay, so here's the Liz Claiborne. And it's pretty cute, but I don't know if I would wear it a whole lot because I usually don't wear short sleeve sweaters very often. Okay, so here's a gingham dress. I love gingham. It is Target, but it fits my bump, which is kind of nice. And it's more like a shirt dress. I wish you could tell what it looks like without my skirt underneath. It's cute. This is a really nice silk skirt. But I'm not a fan of this like tulip shape. So there's no way this will fit me right now. But it will fit me after baby. And it's pretty cute. How cute is this little nighty? Get these big old balloon sleeves. I have to cut this bow off because the bow's broken, but it's really cute. Well, this one is a little too tight on me right now, but I think it has potential to be super cute. I like the style of it and the detailing here. This one's okay, but I think that it's a little too big for me. Okay, here's this little plain kind of green dress. But again, I think it'd be really cute, like belted right there. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get this. This guy. This skirt. This dress. And the basket. Oh, that was awesome. I really liked that thrift store. The prices were okay, um, but I did find some really good stuff. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you're beautiful just the way you are. Bye.